YouTube, what is going on? It is that NBA guy, Josh. It is June 17th, 2014. And what happened to the Miami Heat in this NBA Finals? San Antonio, you know, salute to you guys. Hats off to you. You guys, you impressed me. You made a believer out of me. Um, I was not one of those people that was always sitting there saying, you know, the Spurs are too young. Or just, I'm sorry, let me retrace that. The Spurs are too old. Um, everyone said they're too old. They're not conditioned. They can't hang. They can't run with the big dogs like the Oklahoma Cities, the Clippers, the, the Heat, um, even Indiana. They can't run with them. What happened then? Someone try to explain to me. All that was proven in this NBA Finals is that fundamental basketball and buying into a system are going to win you championships if every single piece of that situation buys in. Every single player on the San Antonio Spurs, they respect Greg Popovich. I can't say the same for the media because Greg Popovich doesn't really give the best interviews and he's extremely condescending, but uh, you know he's a basketball coach. You don't got to like him. You just got to like the way his team plays, and you got to respect the way his team plays, especially when they put together an effort like that against the two-time defending NBA champion um, Miami Heat that, uh, you know, have the best player in the world right now, LeBron James. Um, you know, there was one big problem in this NBA Finals, and that was there was only one player that actually showed up from the Miami Heat to play. Maybe two if you want to throw in Ray Allen. Maybe three if you want to throw in Rashard Lewis. But those are not key contributors to this Miami Heat team. They're great players. Don't let me take anything away from them. I totally respect them. I actually love Ray Allen. I've watched him since he was at uh, uh, UConn back in college. But they are not con key contributors. They're old guys. I just There's only one player that showed up from the Miami Heat in this series, and that was Mr. James. The rest of them, Wade, Bosch. I mean, yeah, they play decent. I mean, that's why they're getting paid, you know, over $15 million each a year. They're supposed to play decent. You don't get a gold star for that one, okay? They did not show up. They did not show that they are future Hall of Famers. They did not show that they're perennial all-stars. LeBron's the only one that actually wanted this championship, or at least that's what the body language said. So, you know, I don't really want to take anything away from the Spurs, though. I don't want to say that the reason that they won is because LeBron and, and, and everyone else on the, on the Miami Heat just didn't put forth 100% effort um, like they should have. But, uh, you know, they just didn't. But hats off to the Spurs. They are by far uh, the best team in the NBA this season. Um, they proved all the doubters wrong, just as they've been doing for the last six or seven years. Saying Duncan's too old, he can't jump, he can't do this. Ginobili just lost a step. Ginobili was dunking over two people at a time last night. I don't know if you caught that one, but that was pretty impressive in my book, okay? Now, the topic that we're really going over right now, though, is what's going to happen with LeBron in this offseason. Obviously, today started the NBA offseason. Um, I think that he has the same exact day that he can opt out as a free agent which is June 23rd. Um, when I say opt in the same date, the same day as Carmel Anthony, Carmel Anthony can opt out on the 23rd. I think that is the same for anyone with an opt out clause in their contract, like LeBron. And uh, what's going to happen with him? Personally, I don't think he should leave. I don't know if he's going to. No one really saw him going to Miami in the summer of 2010 when he left the Cleveland Cavaliers, but I don't really see him leaving Miami. You got a great up and coming coach in Eric Spolstra. You have a living legend in Pat Riley running the franchise. You have a really, really good owner in Mickey Harrison that kind of just lets um, you know the people that he hires and brings into the organization. He lets them run it. He really doesn't step in. He doesn't micromanage anybody. I just don't see him leaving this situation. Coupled with the fact that he plays in Miami, I mean, he probably is going to retire in South Florida. When he retires anyway, why would you not want to build a legacy here? You know, the, the fan base, yeah. You know, I live in South Florida now, so I really can't speak on that because I know the way that fans are supposed to act, especially in the Northeast, um, where I'm from. But, you know, I mean, you, you play the game for the, for, the, for the team. You don't play it for the fans. I mean, it's nice to have the fans there. But uh, I don't see LeBron going to a team or not going to a team based on the fact that the perception is that their fans are all fair weather. 
bandwagon, whatever you want to label them as. I don't see him choosing sides because of that, but I'm not even going to go into are the Miami Heat uh, fans real fans because I personally am good friends with a lot of people that are from Miami, that are, are from uh, the South Florida region, that are really good fans. Um, but of course you have your fake ones. Just like, yeah, I mean, there's fake Knicks fans when they get good, I'm sure. But uh, do I respect it? No. <laughs> so that's a different story. But um, I don't see him leaving Miami. Um, I just think that uh, he's in a good situation. I think that the Heat absolutely have to change a lot of things. They, The Heat have to get a dominant big man. Chris Anderson, the Birdman, I love him. I love the tenacity he brings to the floor. It showed in game uh, five last night that he just cannot guard dominant big men. He couldn't handle um, uh, Duncan. Neither could Haslam. He certainly cannot handle Dwight Howard. Um, I don't see him stopping uh, um, you know, other big men in the league. Um, I just don't see it. Um, so you might have to get rid of him unless you want to have him come off the bench, which... Uh, I don't know. I mean, if he's willing to take less money, you know, then, then go ahead and get him. But um, I think they need a dominant big man. They definitely need an actual point guard. Um, Mario Chalmers, all the respect in the world for him. You know, he was a terrific uh, college player. He's done very well in the NBA. I just don't think that the Miami Heat are the right fit for him. Um, I think he needs to be moved. I think Norris Cole is a decent backup guard. I think you keep Norris Cole. I think you get rid of Mario Chalmers and try to put him in a trade. Try to get a draft pick. Try to get younger. I mean, all these guys, you know, you want veterans, but you also need some young talent. I mean, obviously, there will hopefully be a life after LeBron leaves. Um, you know, Cleveland is coming back a little bit. I mean, they didn't even make the playoffs in the Eastern Conference. But, um, you know, they were decimated, and then all of a sudden they started coming back. So you can definitely rebuild through the draft. Um, I understand they want to win now. Their window of opportunity is closing. I mean, it's not it's it's not like it's, you know, like here. But, I mean, it's obviously just getting a little bit dimmer. Obviously, I mean, that's just how it goes as you get older. But uh, I don't think LeBron leaves. I think if he does leave, the only rational or reasonable destination for him to go would be to either to the Knicks or the Lakers. I don't see him going to the Bulls. I, I Honestly, I think Carmelo might end up on the Bulls. Um, has a better chance. Of getting there, excuse me. Um, so, uh, yeah, I mean, what do you guys think? You know, I'd love to hear everyone's opinion. Do you think LeBron's gonna leave? Do you think LeBron's gonna stay? Uh, is he gonna do a crazy, uh, you know, donation session that he had with the decision last time and say it was for charity just to get his name out there and build his, his brand? Um, what do you guys think is gonna happen? Drop it in the comments. I appreciate all the emails I've been getting. I've been getting a lot since I've started making YouTube uh, YouTube videos again. Uh, it took about a year hiatus, but uh, you know I'm back making them. And uh, if you want to leave me an email, it's that NBA guy Josh at gmail.com. You can leave your comments. Um, appreciate all the support. Appreciate all the love. And uh, we'll see what happens. I am keeping my eyes glued to the NBA draft ticker. And uh, as trades come in, I want to report on them. I want to keep doing this, making this a daily thing, and uh, we'll take it from there. So thanks for watching the video, and everyone have a great rest of the day, and I think this is going to be a big week for the NBA. I think a lot of news is going to start to surface, and uh, you know we'll see where it goes. So everyone have a great rest of your day, and you guys take care. Peace.